So in the introduction video we had a look at plate and the basics of putting it down, so how to start it off, how to couch over it and how to finish it. So we did that in this shape here. And what I want to show you now is this shape, so how to fill in a solid shape with the plate, bending it back and forth. So let's have a look at that now. I'm going to use the silver plated broad plate number six for this. And as again for the introduction video, I explained that you would use the same colour thread as your plate or as near as you can get, so that if any stitches should show that they're kind of disguised. Um, just for uh, again for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it in a dark thread. This is just so you can see it. If you do it, use a matching thread. Now we're going to start and finish in the same way, but I will go over that. Glasses on. And again, I'm going to wax the thread just how it's protected a bit against the plate. Not in the end. I've just marked two lines where I want to work this piece. Now we're going to fill all of this in, so this time we can just jump right into the middle, do two little starting stitches. And they won't be seen because we're filling it all in. So I've come up right at the bottom of one of those lines and we're going to trap the work plate down with a little hook and a stitch over it. So I'm going to make my little stitch first. It's the length that the plate is wide, it's two millimetres. If I just show you that stitch, I'm just pulling it so it's nearly all the way through and that makes a little loop and we can catch the plate in the loop. I'm going to bend it with my fingers just because I find that's the easiest way. A couple of millimetre turn on that. Um, if it's a bit springy you can just gently pull it out a bit just so it lies a bit flat, it's a little bit easier to handle. So now I'm going to put my hand underneath, I've got the end of this thread, I've got the hook in the other hand, I'm going to hook that plate under over the thread so it's just caught it and if I pull it from underneath, it pulls the plate into place and it's trapped the end. Now just put a little holding stitch in close by just to make sure it doesn't move straight up, straight back down. And that will just hold that. You can just press it flat to keep the plate in place. Now we're going to zigzag back and forth, but we're going to put our pieces of plate closer together now so there's no gaps in it. So I'm going to put that almost horizontal. I say almost because when you're zigzagging back and forth it's actually like a coil. None of them will be exactly horizontal, they'll be at a slight angle. So just up ever so slightly upon one side of the plate down on the other vertical stitch. Pull it flat. I'm pulling that thread down, I'm going to flip the plate over, creasing it. Now this bit's quite important. This plate now needs to meet the top of the one below. So if I just put the needle in so you can see where it is. There's the top and this plate I want to come right down so it's touching it. Any gap there and I'll see the fabric through. I can't go over it um, because I won't be able to go in a straight line. We'll cover that in another video. So it needs to be exactly above the one below it and the good thing about this is you can put it in position and try it and then when you've got it in place you can come up with your needle and down the other side and if I just see if you can see that there so right on top of that plate below and I'm going to press that one down just to crease it so it stays in place I'm going to flip it over again pull on the thread underneath crease it just so it meets the top of that one we've just put in. Put it in position, come up with your needle over the top and that needle just touching the one below it. Going straight down with my needle, no angles here, straight down to stitch over the plate. You really need two hands free to do any of these um, techniques with the plate. You can see how I've got one underneath and one on top. So if you can have a frame um, your, your embroidery in a frame, that will really help you. 
So back we go again, flip the plate over. I'm not handling that plate if I don't have to, just flipping it back and forth and then not touching it. Just make sure it's in the right position. Coming up above it, taking my needle down next to that previous one. I'm going that way so that I don't stick the needle in the plate and crease it and damage it. I can see clearly what I'm doing. I'm coming up away from that part I've already stitched. Flip it over so it's going in the right direction. Hold it in position, take the needle straight down. Try and keep these stitches all in a row so you get a nice smooth edge if you can. Just squash them flat, flip it over, hold it in position come up at the top of the plate, take your needle straight down right next to that one below, and just squash that fold flat. That's all there is to it really, so it's just a bit of practice to get it neat and try and get that nice smooth edge on it. This method will allow you to fill in solid shapes with it so you can have a nice big flat piece of it. I'm just going to continue that to the top of the shape, pulling, folding, stitching, and squashing it flat. And then when I get to the top, I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so I've gone up as far as I'm going to go, um, just so you can keep it in the frame of the, the camera. And I'll show you how to finish that off again now. So we're going to turn it one more time, finish off the way that you started. So we started from the left and went to the right. So if I'm going to do just one more to the left and the right, and that makes it almost flat at the top. It's as flat as it's going to get. So I've creased it flat there. And then I need to cut the plate carefully in the right place. So there's the edge, it's got to meet the edge and we're going to make another little hook and hook that under the thread. So about two or three millimeters, scissors are vertical. Just going to make sure that's exactly where I want it and then a sharp snip, cut that off. And then I'm going to get my tweezers, mark where I want it to bend I've just lined them up with the blue line there. Just open that up, fold it over to start it off. I'm just going to squash it with my finger. You can see it there. And then place it in position. So thread up at the top as if we were carrying on doing another stitch. I'm just going to catch that thread under the hook. So I'm holding the thread at the top and the bottom hooked it underneath, just press down with your finger, pull it to the right and that's got it hooked. I'll just do that one more time so you can see that again. It's the top, so actually I need to go that way. So hook it underneath, pull the thread tight and take it down right next to that previous one helps just to hold it in place while you pull that down. That's caught that. Squash it with your finger again. And that's finished the plate. Just finish your thread off to secure it. Turn it over on the back and weave it securely under some threads. I'm going to do it from the top because it's in the frame. So I'm just sliding it underneath that piece of plate. That's not secure until you tie your thread off. So make sure you do that really tightly. These stitches there to really make that strong. Cut it off. So we've got a nice filled in solid shape. We've got nice straight edges, smooth edges, and that's another way that you can put down your plate.